Hey guys, it's me Larry and it's already day two of our Turkish tour. So we're just moving out and go check out. And we're going to go on tour. tour. Hey guys, it's me Larry and welcome back. So this is part two of our Turkey vlog, but if you haven't watched the first one, um, I'll put it in the description below or you can press the button up here. I don't know, the right or left, but yeah. So here's our second day in Turkey and um, we had three main stops for the day. We had a stop in the leather factory, um, the house of Mary, and Pamukale. So for our first stop, we went to a leather factory somewhere in Izmir. And uh, as Turkey is also famous for their textile industry, um, there's also one product that they are proud of, which is the silk leather. So the silk leather is like a very thin slice of leather from lamb skin. And then they make it into very beautiful um, pieces of jackets and scarves and whatnot so we went to this um we went to this factory called um Caligapelle and we went there for a fashion show and also we also had an opportunity to go to the boutique there so we were invited to the theater and um, they introduced to us the, the what is silk leather and what the process they were doing and then there was also a fashion show and it, it wasn't your usual fashion show but because um, since we traveled in the group, some of the members of the audience were actually invited to go up on stage and wear some of the jackets that they were displaying. So we're here now at the leather factory. So we're just gonna watch a short presentation of the designs. Then maybe we have the chance to buy another one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, also welcome to Kaliga Leather Company. Kaliga Leather Company produce all the leatherwear items specially with lamb skin. We are the profession for lamb skin, right? And now they are going to give you a fashion show and you will see great. fashion show we were welcomed actually to their boutique area and they showed us on how they make the silk leather and what makes silk leather very unique so silk leather can be folded um, very thin and um, it's actually very light you can even travel with it anywhere our silk leather and as you see at the short time the leatherware items they became extremely lightweight and reversible to wear this is possible with our silk leather but what we do we are using the latest laser cut technology and the top level of the regular lamb we are shaping with the laser cut after the shaping the leather became only 0.4 millimeter it's so thin like a turkey silk that's why we are calling in turkey as like silk leather right and since they were very good and convincing business people, you know, um, we, were, we bought some jackets. So I'm going to get our, the jacket that we bought. We actually bought two, but um, one is for us, the guys in the family, and then one for my mom. So I'm going to get the jacket. This is the jacket that we bought. Um, we actually bought two, but this one's for the guys in the family. So we have a leather back here and also waterproof 
that toner this just to show you it's very stylish no? so we're done shopping here at the leather house we bought two jackets <laughs> two jackets <laughs> so we're going out to the house of mary after we bought our jackets, we went to the House of Mary, which is perched on the top of the mountain. And it said that that's where Mother Mary settled on her final years. Some things that we had to do in the area like uh, we visited the house itself but we weren't allowed to film but basically there was just a an altar inside and an image of Mother Mary and uh, there's also this wall where it was full of wishes so you write your wish on a piece of tissue and then you tie it on the wall After the House of Mary, we had some lunch. Um, it was your usual lunch. It's a buffet lunch style Turkish food. Um, but yeah, basically almost all of our meals here are buffet style or something that is unique. Then we proceeded to um, Pamukale or the Cotton Tassel. So it said that Pamukale is a place of Roman baths where Romans went there to socialize and also to take a bath. And the unique thing about Pamukkale is that it has a white calcium formation on the side. And you can see that the water, water was gushing, the water gushing along these um, white cliffs that we went to. at Pamukkale where you will see the cotton castle so it's a limestone formation which is very famous here so we're gonna go in So we're gonna remove our shoes so that we can walk on the the white rock. So I'm gonna remove my shoes. and then rest for today. So Pamukkale was our last stop and then we checked in into our hotel somewhere there in Pamukkale called Laika's River. So after we checked in, I wasn't really able to film a lot of stuff because 
apparently my foot got hurt um, while walking the whole day because it was it was a very tiring walking day but yeah so this is the end of the vlog for day two I hope you liked the video and uh, as always subscribe and like the video see you in the next vlog bye